Hello friends, this is Shani. Welcome to my kitchen. It's a long time, no mutton dish. So today I'm going to prepare mutton stew. And it has less chili, so even children will going to love it. So see how to prepare mutton stew at home. Today we are preparing mutton stew. It is neither very hot nor very uh, mild and it tastes really awesome with chapatis or parathas. It tastes better with parathas. Two and a half large spoon of oil because we have to fry onion and we require a lot of onions for making stew. Just like uh, piazza. In piazza we add tomatoes to give a sour touch. But in this too we will going to add curd. Once the oil is hot. One or two bay leaves. Let the oil be hot. Because we will not going to put any kind of... Uh, garam masala paste or powder in it so we will require the whole garam masalas in little bit large amount this is black pepper green cardamom if you like the strong flavor you can open it or otherwise you can just to open one or two this is a piece of cinnamon stick or dalchini this is large cardamom or doda elaichi. Once again, if you like strong flavor, you can open it. And these are cloves. And this is a piece of... I'm going to crush it. This is nutmeg. And this is mace. Just crush it. And fry them on slow heat. And this is patta pool, just a piece of it. It gives a wonderful flavor. And if you don't get it, don't worry. Once your masala is done, you can feel the wonderful aroma. And these are whole red chilies. Just separate the back side and break into pieces. And it depends how hot you like. Though this gravy is not very hot. But still in my family, uh, my family likes little spicier. So I am adding 4 whole chilies. Just try it. And this is about 300 grams of onion. Chop. Add it. And keep your flame medium. Otherwise it will get little brown color which we don't have to get. The gravy is little light in color and we don't have to add turmeric to it. See after frying our onions on slow flame we have got this color. We don't have to fry it 
brown and today my mutton is tender so I'm going to add less water the quantity of water will depend on the size of the pieces of mutton or the quality of mutton this is 250 grams mix well like this fry mutton pieces along with onion for one or two minutes This is ginger and garlic paste, 3 teaspoon of ginger and garlic paste, 2 teaspoon of coriander powder, salt you will add according to your taste, I am adding 1 and a half and this is chili flakes, you don't have to add chili powder otherwise you will get it uh, bright red color, we are adding chili flakes. And once again you can reduce the amount of chili flakes. This is about 2 teaspoons. And now we have to cook it for 3-4 minutes like this. Now it's 4 minutes since we are frying mutton along with onion. And now it's time to add curd this is homemade curd you can put any curd but it should be little sour this is half a cup of it in this gravy we are not adding tomatoes it tastes different from piazza and now with curd we have to cook it for another four five minutes and then we will add water and give pressures to mutton if you are cooking in open wok it will take some time but just because time is very precious and we all are very busy so I am telling you to save your time after cooking for 4-5 minutes you can see the oil has started coming on top we can easily remove this oil after the gravy is finally cooked but this is required to cook this gravy properly and this is nutmeg very strong so add just little piece of it and because the mutton is tender this is 250 ml of water onion sticks at the bottom sometimes it gets burned so please keep watch over your gravy and it is always safe if you are preparing it for the first time you are not confident just open it and you can again give pressures to it if it is not done properly. To avoid sticking and burning I am adding 250 ml and I am going to open it and see if it is done. I will reduce the water. This gravy is thick. And we have not added turmeric, you can see the light color. And now it's time to put the lid. Now it's 15 minutes, release the pressure. And open the lid. Just see, the mutton was tender, so I, yes, it is done. I have cooked it for 15 minutes. If the quality of mutton, if the pieces are bigger, then you have to increase the time accordingly. And now, to reduce this water, we will going to transfer it in an open wok. Now you can see the amount of water. You can see some more water in it. I have put half a glass of water in cooker and just take out the masala which was in cooker and now on slow flame we have to cook it till you can see the oil on the sides and you, you will have an idea that the gravy is cooked and many of my friends ask that how many pressures you have given well 
whenever I cook mutton, I just see the time. Sometimes it take 20 minutes, sometimes it take uh, more than 20 minutes. But today, because the mutton is very tender, you can see the small pieces and they are done. So, I just cook them for 15 minutes in the cooker and now you can see the oil has started coming and the gravy is not very red it has got light color the one thing which I told you that I am going to add finally and this is optional this is one teaspoon of desi ghee or asli ghee this is optional if you want you can add otherwise you can just do without it please do try it's simple just the cutting of onion will going to bring some tears to you but the flavor which you're going to get in this gravy you'll love it so please do share your comments with me and i'm here to share my recipes with you all now it's done we are putting on the flame but this is sufficient for three four people Garnish it with a little bit of coriander leaves, chopped and enjoy this sizzling, very tasty mutton stew with roti or paratha. And watch my website www.chefshaheen.com.